What's happening, guys? Ken Jr. down here on the second floor of the New England Motorcycle Museum reporting to you on this fine Monday afternoon in a bit of a state of zen because I get to demo these two classic Japanese on off road bikes. But first, we're going to tell you about our 74 Suzuki TS 185. Those who have been following the channel in the last few months know I'm a bit of a Japanese enduro bike freak. Uh, these are the bikes that that people are going crazy over right now. They're just the nature of these bikes. Most of them were destroyed. Um, I actually spotted this bike on Facebook Marketplace originally, listed by a gentleman named Tico. He's a collector out of Pennsylvania, and I called him. We hit it off immediately. Uh, he's got quite the collection, over 20 bikes now, all Japanese, and he's starting to thin out. So, struck a deal on this TS, brought it up to the shop. Um, getting a little ahead of myself, but I was drawn to this uh, based on Tico's description, he had done uh, essentially a, a light mechanical restoration um, on a more than worthy bike. You're looking at the original paint job from 74. It's original Suzuki decals. Getting up close. Hopefully the photos you can see, but um, I don't even know if they do the bike justice. Of course, there's a few imperfections here and there, but it's original paint from 74. Original gas cap. Original heat shield. To my knowledge, original exhaust pipe clearly um so tico had put a fresh top end in the bike it's bored second over i'm reading right off his ad here that was f approximately 500 miles ago and he notes that it was properly broken in it's got a brand new seat cover the carb was ultrasonically cleaned a new spark plug was installed fresh oil um brakes were adjusted and they work well he notes and the headlight works which you know it's a going on 50 year old enduro so it's a rarity to find one of these that's that's in good mechanical shape that's been gone through and the lights work more importantly so i'm going to fire it up in a second but let me go through the, what the rest of what tico's got to say um oh actually he says the rear tail light is not original clearly um you can find originals on ebay now and again but uh for now it's really just a plate holder and this is not hooked up but for now, the headlight works. Most dates do not require signals. Signals are not present. But what you have here is an original paint, very clean, and great running 74 TS. So this is definitely going to be a good candidate uh, for bombing around town this summer. So we brought the bike in the shop, and we had our lead vintage Enduro Wizard, Chris Kelly, go right through it. I'll read right from the work order here. So compression test read 110 PSI. And good spark cleaned out the air box cleaned the air filter set the tire pressures replace the spark plug in the plug cap installed new fuel lines and fuel filter and a vent line on the carburetor put a brand new chain on it changed the gear lube installed new handlebars the handlebars were a little bit tweaked so it's got brand new handlebars on there period correct chrome handlebars and removed the fuel tank for a proper cleaning and the fuel tank has not been coated it's the, the original fuel tank with zero rust issues um with stunning original paint so let me see here test ride and chris noted that the tack isn't working but she fires right up and she goes we haven't had a ts185 in the shop in a few months now last one was a gold i forget what year but um this is equally as gorgeous something to note it has a modern shift lever on here now. In our testing, uh, the shift lever actually um, snapped. The original shift lever finally snapped after um, you know, uh, 46 years or, or what have you. So we got a brand new NOS shift lever on order. It'll be installed in the bike, but for now we have this, um, this modern shifter in place so we can test the bike for you. So we can get these shipped really affordably. Message us your zip code for a quote if you're interested in the bike give me a call we can talk about it but without further ado let me fire it up and uh give you guys a little demo ride just around the museum it's pouring rain outside today or actually it's stopped by now but the ground's wet so so chokes on gas is on i'll show you the bike is stone cold put the ignition key on she'll start right up
you see that the headlight does work. The horn is currently inoperable, but the brakes work beautifully. Clutch pull is smooth. There is a mirror installed in the bike right now. But overall, a phenomenally running machine. I did have a chance to ride this outside and up and down the road. And I did a couple hard pulls. This was before we even brought the bike in and had it serviced. And the clutch doesn't slip, shifts through the gears very smoothly. Front end's nice and straight. I didn't go very fast, brought it up to around 45 miles an hour, very comfortably. Miss neutral. So, there you have it, guys. Super strong running TS-185. Original paint, new bars, new seat. Um, fresh top end. The car's been clean, and it was just recently serviced by our guys who kind of, you know, um, got her ready for, for the season, if you will. So, fresh filter, fresh oil. Um, it's been, you know, gone through the 20-point inspection and the quality assurance, and my lead detail guy, Brian Dockery, did it up nice with a museum quality detail. Actually, the, the engine covers were stripped and painted with a very high-quality um, kind of flake finish. Everything's been cleaned up. A little bit of touch-up paint on the frame as a rust preventative coating, um, but super clean bike. I can't say enough good about it. It's a, it's, it's a great rider. And, and, and uh, another thing to note, We've had a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of these Jap Enduros from the early 70s. The 250s and the 360s are known for not revving that high, at least from this era, without the reed box or power valves. You know, it's a, it's a very simple um, engine design. And, and these 185s are much more free revving than the 250s and, and the 360s. In my opinion, a little bit more fun to ride. Um, but then again, it's got more nut than the 125. So this is a sweet bore. It's uh, definitely a rock-solid bike, and, and uh, for sure to go up in value, uh, they're just becoming so hard to find. So um, message us with any questions. Um, if you like the video, subscribe, leave us a like, and uh, thanks for watching thus far, guys. Appreciate it. Good luck bidding, and God bless America.